morning, the July 26th meeting of the Board of Vestments is now called to order. In the interest of promoting the order and the efficiencies of these hearings, persons who are disruptive to the hearing will be asked to leave the hearing room immediately. Meetings of the Board of Vestments are open to the public for the duration of the meeting. The hearing room must be vacated at the conclusion of the hearing. Failure to comply may result in the charge of trespassing. Madam Deputy Controller, are there any correction additions or deferrals on the agenda? Good morning. For today's meeting, there are two corrections. The first one is on page 53. For item number seven, there are three account numbers. Under the third account number, it currently reads medical transportation. Please delete medical transportation and replace it with outreach traditional. On page 82, for the header at the top of the page for the submitting agency, it currently reads Mayor's Office of Employment Development. Please delete Employment Development. It should be the Mayor's Office of Human Service Services. So please replace Employment Development with Human Services. I have the following abstentions to note. <coughs> there are no abstentions for the Honorable Mayor Pugh. The Honorable President Young will abstain on pages 137 to 140, item numbers 1 through 6. The Honorable Comptroller Pratt will abstain on page 26, item number 28. The items that are on the non-routine agenda are pages 67 to 69 and pages 70 to 72. Mr. President and members of the board, those are the corrections to the agenda as well as the abstentions that have been reported thus far. Thank you. Thank you. I would direct the board members' attention to the memorandum from my office dated July the 24th, 2017, identifying matters to be considered as routine agenda items together with any corrections and additions that have been noted by the Deputy Controller. I will entertain a motion to approve all of the items contained on the routine agenda. I move the <coughs> approval of the items on the routine agenda. Second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed nay. The motion carried routine agenda has been adopted. The first item on the non-routine agenda can be found on pages 67 to 72 in the Pratt Free Library 90-day audit. Um, will the parties please come forward? Good morning. Good morning. Who's presenting? Oh, I'll speak on behalf of. I speak in the Oh, I'm sorry. I'll speak on behalf of Enoch Pratt Free Library. My name is Stan Estremsky. I'm the Chief Financial Officer here with Gordon Krabby. He's our Director of Administrative Services. Um, <clears throat> we, we were asked on April 26th to come back to this group with a progress report. Um, based on our annual audit um, finding a report that was presented here and I guess to the day we're back in 90 days to give such report um, we've worked with um, Mr. McCarty's group on some of the steps that we've taken in progress I'm sure as we all know in a 10-month audit there's thousands of items that come up we've addressed some very some of the very big ones and I'm very optimistic in the progress that we've made um, the report is in <coughs> in your materials with the main items to draw your attention to. Um, we have issues in the past with obtaining data from the Baltimore City system and some reports. And while we're always going to be reliant on that because many of these reports are customized, we've taken an initiative to get four additional Pratt staff set up <coughs> with access to the city and actually receive training in the uh, running those city reports and whatnot. And I think for us taking the ownership of these reports is going to lessen our reliance on that. And I think that's going to make a difference this year. Um, that's one major thing we took on. The second and a, a very, very large one to me is we were very, very manual in our compilation of our financial statements. Yes. We have since rebuilt our financial statement compilation. Um, much more automated, much more um, 
in, in advanced model, and we believe that's going to eliminate many errors and speed us up for anything that needs to run through. And we, we really are confident that's going to make a very big deal in our, <coughs> um, <coughs> in our performance next year on the audit. That the other items are, that, that we've listed are somewhat minor in comparison, but large nonetheless to us. Um, we've reviewed procedures. We've assigned some more senior staff to direct responsibility for the audit. And, and certainly, I'm now starting my second year, and I believe in my working relationship with Mr. McCarty and with his staff. I think that's only going to help the audit go, go smoother this year for us. So do you believe that we will meet our deadline for December 31st? I am cautiously optimistic, but optimistic. I say, um, uh, they have shown progress. In what, I'm sorry, Bob McCarty, city author. Uh, they have made progress in these past 90 days. We, we of course, will review that when we do our audit. But um, also, one thing I think omitted, uh, we also wanted them to review their software, and I believe they're going to do that starting for the fiscal year 18 audit. And that, that would be even a step towards even less manual steps. That, 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 that's a great point that Mr. McCarty makes. Um, automating the financials is a Band-Aid approach, and it's going to be a successful Band-Aid. But a true review of the software is going to get us out of this loop going forward. We're under a 10-month audit. So progress, the ability to evaluate the software, well, my goal is to get us off this wheel and meet the deadline so then we have a full six months to do a good comprehensive evaluation as, as Mr. McCarty um, correctly points out is the end game product. I think that's the end resolution. Okay. okay. Any, any, any further comments? Uh, any sorry. questions? Okay. okay. Thank you. The Thank progress you. report and responses have been noted. There have been no more business before the board. We will recess. We will recess until bid opening at 12 noon. Thank you. Sorry. Good afternoon. The Board of Essence now in session for the receiving and opening of bids. I have one addendum to read today, and it is for B5000 5061 load packers. Please change the bid due date from July 26 to August 9, 2017. Hearing no objections, so order. TR 17007, Structural Repairs on Bridges Citywide, JOC 2. A bid bond is required if the amount is over $100,000. Allied Contractors, Inc. with a bid bond. $767,410. Refer this bid to the Department of Transportation for tabulation and report.
SC 910, Improvements to the Sanitary Sewer Collection System in the Herring Run Sewer Shed, Part 2, Chinkapin Run. A bid bond is required if the amount is over $100,000. Metra Industries with a bid bond. And yellow companies with a bid bond. Twenty three million five hundred fifty three thousand three hundred dollars. SAC SAK Construction LLC with a bid bond. Thirty two million seven hundred eighty nine thousand eight hundred seventy five dollars. Northeast Rimsco Construction Inc. with a bid bond. Thirty three million two hundred sixty four thousand three hundred forty nine dollars.
M liner and Angler, A N G L E R, joint venture with a bid bond. Thirty three million seventy three thousand six hundred eighty six dollars. Monumental Paving and Excavating Inc. with a bid bond. Thirty million thirty six thousand thirty eight dollars and thirty three cents. Refer these bids to the Department of Public Works for tabulation and report. WC 1359, Urgent Need Water Infrastructure Rehabilitation. A bid bond is required if the amount is over $100,000. Civil Construction LLC with a bid bond. Seven million three hundred forty six thousand five hundred twenty one dollars. I'm sorry, I misread that. I need to read that again. <clears throat> it's seven million three hundred forty six thousand five hundred. $25. I apologize. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Metra Industries with a bid bond. Seven million seven hundred fifty three thousand seven hundred seventy three dollars. Spinello Companies with a bid bond. Six 
six million one hundred ninety three thousand three hundred dollars. R.E. Harrington Plumbing and Heating Company, Inc. with a bid bond. Six million four hundred sixty-four thousand five hundred thirty-one dollars. J. Fletcher Kramer and Son, Inc. with a bid bond. Seven million sixty-five thousand eight hundred thirty-five dollars and fifty cents. Refer these bids to the Department of Public Works for tabulation and report. Five zero 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 five zero one seven background investigation for the Baltimore City Police Department. A bid bond is not required. Hughes Barney Investigations LLC. Six hundred fifty one thousand two hundred dollars. Consulting Inc. One million nine hundred seventy five thousand dollars. Refer these bids to the Bureau of Purchases for tabulation and report. Zero 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 five zero three one 
light towers. A bid bond is requiring the amount of 5% of the total bid. H&E Equipment Services with a bid bond. Arrow Safety Device Company with a check, $59,300. Refer these bids to the Bureau of Purchases for tabulation and report. Five zero 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 five zero five five folding leg seminar tables and carts. A bid bond is not required. United Supply Corp. One hundred one thousand two hundred thirty two dollars and eight cents.
PS Furniture Inc. Five hundred ninety nine thousand six hundred sixty two dollars. Refer these bids to the Bureau of Purchases for tabulation and report. B five zero 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 five zero seven three all toes A L T O Z T R X six six zero I zero turning rider lawing lawn mowers. <coughs> A bid bond is required in the amount of 5% of the total bid. Port City Equipment Company with a check sixty eight thousand nine hundred forty dollars refer this bid to the bureau of purchases for tabulation and report there being no further business we are adjourned thank you <laughs>